And okay, guys. So welcome. I'm not in my usual setup. I am in bed because I did not want to move. One of those nights. Um, end of the month, you guys. I can't believe it's already the end of November. Crazy. Um, I want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out because um, we are, let me get the exact number because we are like this close to a huge milestone. Um, and I really want to shout y'all out because it's just incredible to me. Oh, we hit it. Okay, guys, lifetime sales for our team. So we, I started seven months ago and within that time, we just hit $250,000 in lifetime sales, which is a quarter of a million dollars <laughs> in a freaking nail polish strip. <laughs> it's incredible to me. I can't, I didn't think we we're going to hit it tonight. So how crazy is that? $250,000, um, a hundred, $112,000 just in this month. So almost half of that just within this month. Um, and November and December are supposedly like hard months because we're all busy and crazy. So if that doesn't prove just how incredible our product is number one and just how incredible you guys are um, as a team. I'm just so excited. Um, so I just had to do a quick shout out for that. Um, tonight we are going to chat quickly about how to go into December um, excited and ready to hit some goals but also realizing that December is a huge family month. My my biggest, um, my biggest goal for my team is to always be family first. Always. This business is incredible and it can, it can bless your family in so many ways. But if we are putting that over our family, um, that's, that's not the goal. I want this to be enhancing your life, enhancing your family, and I never want it to take away from your, your family. So going into December, how are we going to hit goals, but also have fun, focus on family, focus on the whole season of Christmas. Um, and I have several girls <clears throat> who are going to be speaking tonight. Ashton's going to go first, and then we're going to hear from Deanna if she is on Yes, she is. And then we're going to hear from Shannon. Um, all three of these girls are top, top sellers um, and have great insights. So make sure you have a notebook and pen, take notes. Um, I hope we have a little bit of time at the end to ask questions. If not, um, I will post the recording later and we can kind of go over questions and things like that later. But for right now, <clears throat> I'm going to mute everybody again and then we're going to. Um, Ashton, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, are we good? Okay, so um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and just talk goals really quick because <sighs> when I started this a month ago, I literally had none. I was that friend that was like, Oh, Jackie, what are you selling? Oh, okay, sign me up. Like, give me your link. And then here I am later, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why didn't I do this sooner? What on earth have I been, like, I was like under a rock the whole time. So, um, goals are so important because I feel like it's kind of like having a roadmap. You, if you're going somewhere and you've never been there before, like you need to find directions. You need to have a map. You need to know where you're going. And I think that applying that same thought process to your business um, is so important because, you know, if you don't have goals or a plan and you don't have direction, like then what are you doing? So, um, and first and foremost too, I know that <clears throat> like 
my goals will look different than somebody else's and Jackie's are going to look different than somebody else's and you know everyone's different but I think collectively the goal is to have businesses that are thriving and flourishing and something that we can duplicate when we're bringing in new stylists and you know stuff like that so um the best thing to do is to just set them like for me to be Q within the first couple days of a month like that's non-negotiable I know I have like I'm like the sticky note queen I have <clears throat> sticky notes one of them is be Q and when I do that I take that sucker off my computer and I throw it away because that's done and I work my way through my notes my little sticky notes so like have little even don't like overthink it. Keep them so simple, you guys. Like this is your business. Bonus qualifying is non-negotiable. That should be your number one goal, I think, every month. Get that out of the way. Anything after that, like today with our little thing, like people were like, I BQ'd 75 times. Like after you get past that first time, like everything else is just a bonus for you because now you've already passed up that one goal. Um, <clears throat> so another couple of things I think are really important and then I'll be done are share your goals. Like Jackie and Shannon, they're like my left and my right hand. They know what I want from this and they're holding me to that. And <clears throat> this month, for example, I told Jackie, I want to sell a thousand dollars. I'm like almost at $2,000 because when I hit my $1,000, I'm like, oh, we still have like 15 days left in the month. Like, like, let's just see what happens. Like, you know, $600 later, like make those goals and then like you can go past them. Like that's even better because then, you know, the next month you can look back and say, oh, like I only set it for this thing, but I ended up doing all of this. So don't sell yourself short, but you know, make those goals and share them. Um, if you've got like your little like success pod, you know, there's like maybe two or three or four of you that you guys all check in and share ideas and whatever, tell them what you want to do. Um, I told Jackie and Shannon, I will be team leader by the end of the year. Like that's non-negotiable. Like that's going to happen. Um, and really the most important thing is speak, speak it into existence. Like, like, I don't know if that's, if I'm saying that right, but like, don't just think it, don't just write it down, like speak about it, make it, you know, something that like, you're going to hear it and people are going to hear you saying it. And then they're going to, you know, like, I feel like if you talk about it, like it's happening, it's most likely going to happen. If you say, oh, like there is no way that I can, you know, sell a thousand dollars, like you're probably not. But if you say, I'm going to sell a thousand dollars and then you push yourself you're gonna sell a thousand dollars um but and if you don't then that's you know that's fine too but you have to be pushing yourself this is a business where i feel like you cannot outgrow it it's forever changing <laughs> and all of us bring something different to the table so our goals are all different but again collectively we want the same thing so don't think that your goal is too big or too small share them with people so they can hold you accountable. Um, and really just speak, speak them. Because if you do that, you're, that's, that's good self-talk for you because you're putting that positivity, you know, I feel like you're putting it out there. You're speaking it in to happening. So was that good? Is that okay? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I always just love being in the talk. No, Make I, them I'm goals, girl. Make them goals. <laughs> That's true. And it's, it's so, so true. I mean, we all, I mean, we all know the, the small goals, right? Or you should by now, if you don't go through the new stylish training, <laughs> but goals, it's, it's simple. They're very, very simple. Um, and I think going into December, I think just remembering the simplicity of it. Um, first goal being $300 in sale sales bonus qualifying um that is like nine buy three get one freeze um if you think about it that's like one a day um for the first week and a half totally doable especially in december when you have people wanting to buy um teacher gifts and sister-in-law gifts and just little things here and there 
Um, so goals is huge. And like Ashton said, telling someone is even bigger. And I know it's scary to like message someone, message your upline, you know, message whoever you signed up with, message me, message or post it on the team page, <clears throat> whatever you feel like you need to do um, to get it out there so that, like Ashton said, you feel accountable. Um, and it just puts a little bit more power into that goal. It's no longer just like a wish or a hope. It's a, okay, I'm putting it out there that this is something I'm working towards. And also remembering these are gonna, it's gonna benefit your family. Y'all, $300 in sales might not seem a lot and it might seem kind of insignificant. That's $75 and commissions. $75 is a mega tank of gas if you have a like truck or <laughs> SUV. It is a trip to the grocery store. It is half of your daughter's gymnast gymnastics tuition. I mean, if you put it into real life, $75 is a lot. So when you build on that, $300 is just the start. But for December, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it fun. Let's not stress about getting $200 in sale or $2,000 in sales. Like let's just focus on the simple goals of we're here in, in December to have fun. And then I think Shannon's going to talk about this in a little bit. So I don't want to go into what I was about to talk about, but I think Deanna, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, you can um, do that and we can hear from you. Maybe. Do you want me to unmute you? <laughs> okay. Let's go to Shannon. Shannon, do you want to go ahead and chat? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, okay. So I am going to talk about being expectant in December um, because I have fed myself like so many excuses already and we're only in November and I have fed myself, Oh, well the cutoff date for sales, like I had this mad, like, okay, I'm not going to sell anything after the 13th because that's the last day to order through color street. Um, I've thought, well, nobody's going to spend any money on nails in December. Um, I thought there's nobody that's going to join my team in December. Like I had fed myself all these lies um, I guess probably out of fear, a fear of selling it next month. Um, and fear's a liar. Like it, that's not me fueling myself. That's me causing myself to fail. Um, and so I was telling them earlier, like I, I'm going into December expectant, like I'm going to set my goals just like I do every other month. And I'm going to expect to sell like I normally do. Um, because the thing is, is the people that are buying from you now, we sell such an inexpensive product. So to me, people aren't going to stop buying, whether they buy one at $11 or do the buy three, get one free from $40. Like people aren't going to spend, stop spending that amount of money. Um, they're going to keep on. And so my thought is, well, these people are going to still keep buying from me, but they're also going to buy for other people too now. So why would my sales not be more in December? Because of my regulars, I guess you could say, that are buying, or new people that are wanting to try, um, they're gonna keep buying, and they're gonna keep buying gifts. Um, and so that's gonna be like my word for December, is just for me to expect like the greatest. Um, and I don't, I think it's almost silly to think that it would be any different than any other months because December is like one of the biggest months for most stores the entire year. And so we're basically our VIP pages and we are little stores. We're little businesses. And so we should go in expecting it to be an amazing month. Um, and so, yeah, just planning out your month, planning out. That's what I'm going to bust it until December 20th. My son gets out of school. School December 20th all my kids will be out of school December 20th so come December 20th I'm not checking out but I'm just gonna pull back from my I'm not going to work I'm gonna check in with my VIP page I'm gonna post interaction posts I'm gonna you know still do all of my regular stuff I'll still share my link if they want to go shop my link go for it 
but I'm not going to be doing any of the work work that I put into it. Um, but for me, I was just thinking, you know what, there's no reason for me to slow down right now during the week. My weeks look the same as they normally do, even in December. I mean, we'll have special things. There'll be school parties. There'll be those types of things. And I always want to be sure, like Jackie said, you know, family comes first. So being an intentional in all of those moments, but also remembering like, you know, if you're wanting this to be a business, like you still have to run it as a business. And I promise you there's not a single business out there that says, all right, December, we're just closing down. <laughs> so just keep pushing in December because I just think, you know, I'm like, I want to make more money than I did last month. I want to sell more money than I did this or sell more product than I did this month. Like I'm still going to set my goals to where I want them to be. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. And I do want to touch on one more thing. Okay, y'all, I know I shared about that hostess gift. I mean, that hostess kit thing. And I just want to encourage y'all to go to do that if y'all, I wish I had brought my thing. But I basically sent my one of my hostesses in just a regular envelope, like, like well, I sent three of them, in a regular envelope like this. I put eight samples, eight business cards and a um, catalog in it and it all fit in an envelope with one stamp one of my girls messaged me today with over 20 orders from where she took it to work and, and was just showed it to people she I mean, she this is my first mail order she got one of the husbands at her work to order nails for his wife um so i just want to encourage y'all to do i i'm gonna post something tonight asking the teachers in my group like let me send you a hostess kit and you take it to school with you and share it with your um ladies but i did post about it in the group so you could probably search my name in the first dynasty group and it would show up but i just want to encourage y'all to do that because i feel like that's going to be such a big thing but that wasn't what i'm not supposed to talk about so <laughs> anyways uh that's it <laughs> you're so cute I love you. um oh gosh okay gut check for me because i'm like here i am y'all just have fun focus on family and shannon's like no let's <laughs> let's push this thing. And it's so true. It's like, if we're building a business, like, no, we're not going to slack off. Um, but I think key thing that she said is being intentional. You're going to have to be intentional. And I tend to get scatterbrained in December because I, I get overwhelmed. I'll be honest. I get overwhelmed with everything that we have. We have kids parties. We have family parties. We, we're shopping for other people. Um, you know, there's just a lot that we have to juggle. So I think the key word um, that Shannon said is being intentional is going to, is really, really going to have to be our word for December. And whether that means waking up 30 minutes earlier or going to bed 30 minutes to an hour later, um, whatever it takes to be intentional to build our business. And that's just, I mean, that's just part of it. It's life. And I think, um, you know, this past week I shared that video that Shanti did um, talking about life, like just it being hard and how, you know, people give up because things are hard. And he's like, I mean, think like losing a spouse is hard. Like that's hard. That's something you can't really get over. Um, working out, it, it it's not hard. It's just something we have to get over, you know, like building a business. It's going to be, um, it's going to take time and effort, but I mean, that's just life. Like you don't just to get to sit on the couch and make money. Well, we do get to sit on a couch and just make money because we can do it from our phone. But you know what I mean? You have to put effort into it um, and time and um, inten being intentional with it. So Shannon, gut check because I'm like, let's just enjoy December. <laughs> um, okay, so real quick, now we're going to hear from Deanna. Take it, girl. Okay, can you all hear me? No? Yes? Okay. Um, so I just, I'm not good at speaking like y'all are, but, um, I just wanted to chat about like, not to stress out about December, but stuff that we can do, um, during December and things that we can focus on. So, um, first I want to say, let's not think that we have to do a bunch of deals every single day. Like we just came out of Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. So like we've been offering a ton of deals lately. Um, I know a lot of us are doing like 12 days of Christmas, so we're still going with the deals. Um, but I feel like we're kind of spoiling our VIP people and they're getting used to these deals. And so they're not wanting to place orders through our links anymore. They're wanting, they're waiting for the next deal that you have to offer. 
And um, I've noticed this month that it's kind of hurting um, my business at least. And um, so I'm trying to figure out ways to get them back to that link um, and ordering online. I know that shipping was terrible for a little while. Um, they're picking up a ton. Um, I've gotten like a ton of packages this week. So they are doing a lot better with shipping. Um, so I'm gonna kind of bounce off of Ashton and the BQ in two days. Um, especially this month, I feel like it's really important to at least BQ that first week of December. Um, just because of Christmas holidays, you can push, like Jackie said, teacher gifts, um, stocking stuffers, stuff like that. Um, but you wanna keep in mind, like shipping can go back down. And um, so we kind of want to get like a cutoff date for Christmas orders. And I've set mine for December 7th or December 8th, something like that. Um, that way, if I do bulk orders that they have enough time to process, they have enough time to ship from Color Street. And then I have enough time to separate everything and ship them out to my people. And then that way everybody can still get them before Christmas. So December 7th is, is my cutoff. So I want to be cute that first week of December. And then another thing about this month, at least, is that when you do that, you don't have to worry about month end. And um, <clears throat> Christmas is, you know, the end of the month, we've got New Year's. So this is kind of like a stressful end of the month coming up. So if we go ahead and knock out that BQ that first week of December, we don't have to worry about it come Christmas time. And we can actually enjoy our family, the holidays, you know, without saying, oh wait, you know, the family's here, but let me go put this order in real quick so I can be cute tonight, you know? So um, another thing is go ahead and start booking those parties for like that last week of December, um, the beginning of January, go ahead and start booking those because people get money for Christmas. Um, they want to spend that money on, you know, stuff that they want, you know, like grandparents, they're like, here's, a hundred dollars for Christmas or however much and you know I didn't I don't know what to get you but here's money you know so um booking those parties you have a lot of people who are going to want to spend that money and they're going to buy themselves nails they're going to spoil themselves usually um if you get money you know for like your birthday and Christmas you're going to spend it on yourself so um go ahead and start booking those parties for like that last week of Christmas going into um the beginning of January and then you'll, you'll be getting, you know, the new customers, um, all the sales from the people saving their money. And those are possible like recruits, you know, a lot of people, I mean, the biggest thing when I ask about becoming a stylist is the money, the money's always the issue. So if they um, have that money right after Christmas, you know, you have all these possible stylists, you know, potentials that you can sign up who are getting that money and can at least you know, afford it at that time. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I made notes, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, so I think that's all I got. So um, really push for that first week of December. So that you don't have to worry about it, you know, when the family's here and when you're really digging in, like when, like uh, Shannon said, when school gets out and you can focus on, you know, your kids, your family, all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about putting in orders or, you know, trying to get to that, that BQ so that way you, you know, you're good for the month. So that's all I got. Those were great, great tips. I think piggybacking off of what she said about that last week and honestly did not even think about that as far as, you know, Christmas comes and we normally get some spending money. So people are going to be like, yeah, let's spend that because they're not going to let it just sit in their pocket. So I think <clears throat> going with our whole like theme of being intentional and mindful of time in December is what are some posts that you can be making and scheduling out for that last week of December in your VIP page so that you can have posts getting posted, but you're not necessarily taking the time that last week of December to be in your VIP page thinking about posts, you know, so go ahead and, you know, this week, first week of December, let's go ahead and start think of posts that you want to make in your last week of the month and go ahead and schedule those out. And then, then all you have to do is just kind of be there to answer questions or, um, you know, send people to your 
your link or whatnot. But that was a really great tip. One last thing that I want to really, really stress <clears throat> for, especially since it's this last like couple of days of November, but even like first of December. Now I know not everybody can do, can buy stock. I get that. Like I literally have never been huge in buying stock just because I was, I was very success. I'm very successful with people going to my website, but I will say this last week and Thanksgiving, I had probably eight girls message me who I like six of them who I've never even sold to. They messaged me asking what I had in stock because they didn't get their nails done for Thanksgiving and they wanted a last minute manicure for Thanksgiving day. And I had nothing. <laughs> and I felt awful. I was like, Oh my gosh, like that's eight people I could have sold to. And I didn't have anything. So I lost out on sales. So for December, and especially since they're really, they're really encouraging us to get sales in by the 13th, people are going to have parties all throughout December. And they're going to think, oh my gosh, I really wish I had my nails done right now. Oh, I remember Jackie sells these like really cool nail strips. Maybe I'll ask if she'll have anything. I'm going to want to make sure this December that I have actual things in stock so I can have that available for people to pick up if they want to. So I really encourage you, even if it's just five to 10 sets of nails that you purchase, maybe you know, this week or next week, just make sure you're purchasing it in time to get it before all, you know, the rest of the de of December. Um, but whether it's five to 10 nails that you invest that little bit of money, you're going to get your commission back. And then you're going to be able to sell them, um, get neutrals. Like I think, um, <clears throat> like grays, like London fog, guys, the sands, even reds. I mean, obviously reds are going to be huge for the holiday. Um, but just making sure that you have something in stock because I guarantee you, especially if you're putting yourself out there, that this is what you do. People are going to be like, Oh my gosh, I wish I had that last minute manicure, but I don't have time or I don't have the money. Um, and they're going to reach out to you and ask you if you have anything in stock. So I encourage you if you have that extra, you know, a little bit of money to buy five to 10 sets or however much you want to buy. I'm personally going to be getting at least 20. Um, just because I was so shocked at how many people wanted nails for Thanksgiving. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like for Christmas parties. Um, so I think that's my last little bit. I don't know why I'm losing. Exactly. My yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I wanted to say one more thing. Um, kind of bouncing off of Shannon about being intentional. So I was thinking that this would be a perfect time for like recruiting. So you know how I said at the end of December, people are going to have money and um, maybe all of your potential people will want to join, you know, at the first of the year or whatever. Um, use this time. I feel like December is a really good month to share what like this business is doing for you, um, how it's helping you through the holiday season, um, how this extra commission is helping, you know, buy Christmas or, um, you know, Christmas parties for your kids, stuff like that. So just like share about the journey, mm -hmm. like be intentional about sharing how it's helping you and like what you're getting from it and how it's getting you through this holiday season. So that way come end of December, beginning of January, all those people are like, Hey, I want to do that too. You know? And, um, anyways, yeah. I wanted to share that the yeah. recruiting tip. Yes, absolutely. Um, because what's going to happen is after the crazy show of December, people are going to want to get their lives together in January and they're going to want to be like doing the things that they wanted to do all fall, but felt like it was a bad time. And so we want a lot of people tell me that, um, they want to wait till the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had like probably four or five people tell me, yeah, I really want to do this, but let me get through the holiday season. So I think, you know, sharing more about what, how it's helping us get through this holiday season, they're probably going to be like, why didn't I do this, you know, yeah. at the end of November? Yep. But um, another thing is pre-selling those nail sets. Um, I've had a lot of recruits, especially in November, um, like this month, I've pre-sold the sets, got their kit like right in time. I had one girl message me yesterday. Um, she just joined today. 
that she messaged me last night saying that she wanted to go ahead and sign up, but she wanted to wait till the beginning of the year because, you know, Christmas is so expensive. And I said, well, you know, you hosted a party back in August. How about I pop back in that group and tell them, you know, that you want to be a stylist and see if they'll help you. And she sold all 10 sets in less than 24 hours and joined today. So um, I think pre-selling the sets is huge. That is crazy. And if you, I mean, y'all don't know, but Deanna has, how many people have you signed up this month? Well, because, so because I'm not a teen lead yeah, or because I'm not a director yet, I can't move people around. So I kind of strategically moved them myself and just gave them somebody else's link. So um, technically I've only signed up five, but really I've signed up like seven or eight okay. this month because yeah. like, I just gave them to a different stylist and said, hey, yeah. use this link because this is where I want you to go. Yeah, that makes so. sense. But yeah, she has signed up a lot of people this month, and I think she's doing just that pre-sale, which is so smart. Um, so if y'all want more details on that, just reach out to her, or she, I know she's done a video on our team page. We can tag you in that. Yeah, I'm not very good at going live, so. <laughs> oh, stop. You're so good. You're good. Okay, guys, does anybody have any questions? We have, like, we have about seven minutes. Anybody has any questions? You can unmute yourself. If not, we will hop off. Y'all, thank y'all so much. Um, Holly, again, it's like, can we just, <laughs> are you getting ready for work? I love it. <laughs> it's like that show. What is Holly doing on our team chat tonight? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, guys, thank you all so, so much. I hope you all have a great night. Um, let's finish November strong. Tomorrow is the last day of the month. Um, let me know if you all need any help with anything. Um, next week, I do want to say this. Next week, we have, I don't know if any of you know, Christy Shack is our up, up line. She's a couple of levels up above us. Um, she is going to be speaking with us next week. Um, well, now I can't remember what she's going to speak about, but she's really great. Very, very sweet. And I'm really excited to hear from her. So y'all make sure that you have these teams or team calls on your calendar. And I just, I really think we have a great team, you guys. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. We have a really, really, really great team. And I hope you all feel blessed by it and the company. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. I will chat with y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye. <laughs>